Hi, I'm Kat and welcome to Kat's Cooking Corner. Today we are going to be making enchiladas. For this recipe you will need ground beef, enchilada sauce, green chilies, tortillas, and shredded cheese. You can also add fresh onion and garlic to the mix if you would like. Okay, the first thing you will want to do is prepare a baking dish. I always use glass. By spraying it down with non-stick cooking spray and setting it aside. You'll also want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Okay, to prepare our enchiladas, the first thing we will want to do is turn our stove on to about medium high. I like onions, so I have diced up some onion here to add, but this onion, of course, is optional for this recipe. So we're just going to let the onion cook for a moment, um, not very long. Just kind of heat up, and then we want to add one pound of ground hamburger meat. Ooh. The onion will, of course, cook as the hamburger does, so. Okay, once your hamburger is browned, you'll want to remove it from the heat and drain it. The cooking process usually takes about five to seven minutes. Okay, once your hamburger is drained, you'll want to return it to the pan. and turn your heat back to about medium now you'll add one four ounce can of diced green chilies And then I have a 20 out, 28 ounce can of Old El Paso 
red enchilada sauce. And I am going to add about one cup of it to the meat mixture. And we're going to let this simmer for about three minutes. Okay, first thing you want to do is put about a half cup of enchilada sauce into the bottom of your pan. I'm probably going to put a little bit more. You want it nice and covered. Okay, to assemble your enchiladas, I find it easier to do on a small plate. So I take one tortilla shell, and down the center, put a little bit of the meat sauce. You don't want a lot, because you don't want it to overflow. You want to make sure there's plenty there. I'll put a pinch of cheese. And then we want to take, and I always take, roll it like so, and then roll it up tight. And you put it seam side down into your pan. And I will show you one more. I'll put a nice little seam or line of meat filling down the center, pinch of cheese, now what you do is you fold it in half, slightly more to one side, so when you fold it over, it's going to overlap, just slightly, and then you roll it, and you put it seam side down, in your pan. Of course, the number of enchiladas this makes kind of depends on how much filling you put inside each and how much space you have in your pan. So I managed to get nine enchiladas. Now I'm going to take the rest of the can of enchilada sauce and pour it over the top. And then I'm going to top it with a nice layer of shredded cheese. And as I've said before, I am a cheese person, so I use a lot of cheese. And now we want to put this in our oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, your oven should already be preheated to 375 degrees. This recipe pairs really well with Spanish rice, refried beans, and or a garden salad. You can also serve it with sour cream or guacamole. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Cat's Cooking Corner. If you would like to see more recipes, please subscribe.